Welcome to the first multi-board update video. This is basically, think of it as a roundup of all the things that have been going on with multi-board. And I'm gonna do this on and on in the future when there's been a whole bunch of updates from multi-board. I'm just gonna give you a synopsis of what's going on. We're gonna go through the news, let you know what's going on with multi-board. So we're gonna start all the way from the very beginning, which is launch to now. So there is a lot, a lot to cover. But let me just tell you the headlines, then I would advise that you grab yourself a cuppa and let's have a chat about this multi-board update. So headlines wise, this is how it goes. We're basically breaking things since launch to now, and I'll tell you all about that. There are over 500 new updated parts everywhere. It's crazy. There's some insane community builds that I want to share with you, along with a whole bunch of other community news. A whole bunch of bits that you might have missed, which is basically all the little bits that are going on behind the scenes that you might not really know that are actually going on. And get ready for some absolutely crazy updates, starting with the multi-grid foundational update. So let's get right into this. So how on earth are we breaking fangs? Well, a whole bunch of you probably have experienced this, that all of a sudden fangs, you can no longer download anything more. And that's because we're hitting their DDoS protection. Yeah, that's right. We're downloading so much that we're hitting their safeguards. So much so that they've now told me that they've had to triple their safeguards for us in this community. Truly, that is insane. So to give you a roundabout, the last time I saw the numbers, we were at 386,000 downloads since launch at the middle of December. That is absolutely insane. So that's what's been going on if you've ever experienced that. And I'm sorry if you have, they really are trying their best to fix it all. And truly, it sort of would have been any platform that would have had this problem as well. Next up is we've been on the top trending of Fangs for a good 10 solid weeks. I don't think that's something that happens that often. So I would say that's pretty breaking. On top of that, we are the second most searched term right after Gridfinity. Who knows what's going to happen there in the future, especially after this update and a few other things that I'm going to be telling you in the future. But yeah, second most search term. And with that, we actually now have our own category on Thangs. We have the multi-board category in case you missed that. So that is absolutely crazy because there's only one other person who's had that, which is Zach Freeman with the Gridfinity itself. And considering that we already have that, that is crazy stuff. Then we've also, here it is, we've been on the front page of Thangs for quite some time. That is crazy to see as well. And also, I have to mention this, the community has been absolutely on fire. We already have 300 remixes listed out there, and it's absolutely amazing. By the way, if you want to be sure that you get on top of the sort of system that we're creating for the multi-board remixes, make sure you use the hashtag multi-board remix with no space in it, because there's some amazing things that we're thinking of doing in the future with that and upload it over onto Thangs because that's where we're going to be using it to be able to really organize things really cleanly and easily. So that's how we've basically been breaking Thangs. It's we've been downloading like nuts and we've just taken over the platform, which I love it. I truly love it. And thank you so much for your guys' support. Next up is a whole bunch of new and updated parts. There's over 500. Actually, the, the real number is about 800 parts, around 300 listings, and so many. It, it's hard to really keep on top of it all. But let me just tell you from the beginning what's been going on. So from the very beginning, we saw there was a problem with the tiles. We've changed the tiles from being 6.5 millimeters thick down to 6.4. Why? Because when you slice that up in a slicer, the slicer right at the end, considering that it's dividing it by 0.2, decides, am I gonna go 0.5 or am I gonna go 0.4? And depending on the slicer, it's sort of picking randomly. And if you're doing stack prints, it gets even worse because sometimes it sticks things together and sometimes it didn't. So. I just wanted to standardize that. So now we're at 6.4. Also the octagons that were on the front of the multi-board were a little bit off. They were off by 0.33, just visually. It wasn't 
functionally off. It was functionally perfect. So we've updated all of the tiles. This was a few months back. All of that has been updated. And not to worry, most of the time, the tiles were being round down anyway in slicers when we were doing a whole bunch of research to check how this issue could have sort of been affecting everyone. So that's totally fine there. Now, a whole bunch of new offset mounting systems have been created. So if you have seen it, it was in our last update, I think it was the last big update, where we added a whole new part A, part B snap system. So all of the mounts have been updated. That's how we have this now, this new removal tool, which basically means that the old system is unfortunately obsolete so we've added a legacy listing so if you ever want any of your parts that we've just sort of thrown out the window they're over on the legacy listing plus now all the mounting systems are just so much more flexible you're able to remove them they're stronger and we've added them into a whole bunch of new mounting systems. So this right here, this is the command strip mounting system that we've also added. We've also added a command strip push system, and there's other ones that are gonna be coming real soon in the future. But yeah, that's been added. We've also added push fit brackets that were inspired by an amazing community member. I've totally forgotten the name, I'm sorry. It's linked on screen right now. But while we were doing that, we also figured out with another new part, which is the directional weight bearing snap, you can do something called lock bolt locking a snap onto a bracket, which means it's no longer so dependent on the push fit connection, but now on the snap connection, which just makes these so much stronger and so much more weight bearing than just a normal snap. So that's something that was really cool to do. And then what other things do we have? Yes, we have the multi board tile generator. That's got a little bit of an update. Now there's just a one button stacking option. So if you wanna create your own custom stacks, you can do that with the multi board tile generator. We've talked about the weight bearing directional snap. That was a big update that truly is really, really cool. We've added remixing resources. In case you missed that, we have all the step files and STL files to go and do remixes, an entire section over in the parts library. We've added the command strip mounts, and there's a whole bunch of updates coming to the multi-grid system, which I'll let you know near the end of this video because it's just so big that it needs a whole section of itself. Now, give me a moment. We're gonna talk about the community builds, but I need to have a little bit of coffee here. Oh, that hits well. All right, next, the community have been on fire creating some insane builds. Now, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names here, but first one is Kalunki. Kalunki, you created an amazing multi-board here with that, using those guns and that light is just so cool. I love seeing those prop guns just lit up on this crazy, badass multi-board system. It's just awesome. I love the setup here. Next up is Mesa 711, showing off the flexibility of an angled setup. This is exactly what multiboard is all about, making it fit every system and every space out there. That is it. That I just love seeing that. I've actually seen someone else's put multiboard inside of their electrical unit, which is just crazy to see, but yes, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Next up is Maker Thingy, the first multiboard sort of real community build that I saw and the first one to actually make a video of multi-board. So go and check out their channel, it's linked down below as well. And that there is truly just showing someone grabbing all of multi-board by the horns and just printing it all out and seeing what they can do with it. That is exactly what multi-board is right this minute. Think of it as a big box of Lego parts that you pick up at a garage sale. You know in there are all the bits you need to make whatever it is you want. And that's showing it off right there. In the future, we'll have a lot more guidance, but yeah, we're still getting started. I just love it, love it. Next up is V. V has created this jaw dropping and elegant setup that just is so clean. And I love the very creative and stylish remixes that they've created there. One of the remixes is the actual multi-grid bins and they have this lovely sliding color section, which I think is a brilliant idea. And I might want to incorporate that in the future, but for sure, that is just looking so awesome and clean. And I love the colors they've used. And then lastly, we have David D who, I just love the idea, they brought multi-board to the shower. 
right there. They have it in the shower. You know, you need to stay functional. Why not stay functional in the shower? Okay, so next up, all the bits and bobs that you might have missed. Now, I'm just going to straight up read from this because the list is huge. So, all the listings now have descriptions. I know so many of you just kept saying this over and over again, but we've done it. This is the minimal viable listings are now up there. We're going to update them in the future with a whole bunch of links and stuff, but all or almost all of the listings now finally have descriptions. That took so long, but they're there. Also, the Knowledge Hub, it is now officially at its like MVP launch, which means that it's all there apart from some images because, well, I'd rather spend my time making new parts for you guys than spending my time designing a whole bunch of renders. So there you have it. We now have the first Knowledge Hub is totally up there and it keeps getting updated all the time with your feedback. So by all means, if you have any feedback about it, let us know over in the Discord. We have an entire feedback section there, so let us know. Then we also want to let you know about a little project that has been mentioned here and there, and I'll let you know now here. I'm working on something called the Multiboard Simulator, and it's officially started development about three weeks ago. And that is basically a tool that we'll all be able to use for free to create our multiboards in the virtual space and then export out a nice little sheet that's just going to tell us all of the parts that we need to build it. And it's just going to be amazing. It's going to take a little while to actually get out there considering just how many parts I keep making and how complicated it all gets and how functional and just versatile multiboard is, but it's coming and we're going to basically create create it as sort of a big tutorial as well as a way for you to really test things out before you waste any printing time or plastic because quite frankly I get it multiboard is complicated the entire ecosystem is huge individually it's quite small and you can understand it but when it gets to the bigger sense of things it is very very versatile so that is coming on top of that, the parts library has been updated a few times. If you haven't noticed, we keep changing the sections, we've changed where bits are, added more information, changed the links up, and we're still doing more every single day. So take a good look over the parts library for that. And we've added a whole bunch more sort of transparency so you really understand what's going on. We've added a change log inside of the Discord as well as a page inside of the multiboard website. We have a roadmap that you can just straight up see what we're working on right this minute. We have a design status board letting you know every single part of multiboard, where it is, how sort of likely is it to change is it not going to change has it been locked down currently basically nothing has been locked down it takes a long time before i'm able to say yeah that is 100 locked down we're getting there with a few parts though but yeah we now have design statuses for all of the parts go and check that out plus a whole bunch of you have been wondering hey what exactly is the parts release schedule because you say everything is free yet there's some things that are in early access when are they out of early access and that's what the parts release schedule is because technically all of the parts are free apart from the quality of life parts like the stacks and the packs and all of that good stuff that's very much for you lovely paying supporters thank you so much but all of the parts individually are free and now you have the parts release schedule that'll let you know when exactly xy early access part is going to be free so go and check that all out everything that i'm mentioning here by the way is going to be down in the description now, if you haven't noticed, Multiboard.io has had a couple of facelifts. So the very front page is now showcasing some amazing community builds and some of your lovely comments as well. So go and check that out. And thank you so much for sharing your builds and letting me put them up on there. Truly, I just love seeing what you're all making. So that's been the Multiboard website has been updated. And also, I've updated the mini Multiboard video at least once or at least twice. I, I, I keep forgetting, but I'm going to have to do it now thanks to i'm gonna to have to do it again now thanks to the multi-grid update so speaking of the multi-grid update get ready for some crazy updates that are coming so let me start it all off with a multi-grid multi-grid foundational update i keep getting that wrong i don't know why but just before i carry on with that i think i need to have another bit of coffee so what exactly has changed 
the main things that have changed is we've inverted the click system because it was just sort of getting in the way of doing some future accessories that I want to do, as well as fixing the thread orientation underneath all of the bins. They were, I, unfortunately, what I did was a patterned array rather than a radial array inside of each bin, which meant that the bin orientation sort of mattered for the thread that was going in underneath. So we've updated that. It technically means that it's semi sort of backwards compatibility breaking, but not really. It, it sort of, it depends on how pedantic you want to be about that connection between the bin and a plate. But honestly, not that much has changed. But what has changed is the bin sizes. We've changed them to be a little bit taller and work with different sizings. We now have this new little size here, which is the 0.75. Considering that I was telling a lot of you to, hey, do the 0.25, add extensions to it. And we didn't have a 0.75 extension to let you get to one bin unit. So that's now been added in, plus some other cool stuff. So first, let me tell you, we have removed a couple little parts that were just no longer aligning with the core functionality of multi-grid. Mainly it is the bin shelf extendable version, but something really cool is coming in the future for that. But what we have done is we've made lid rims. They used to be this sort of like flimsy thing. They're now a lot stronger. They're now internal and now they're a set distance. So it means that anything that you put on it, it sort of fits onto the actual scaling system of the, the entire multi-grid. It is now a 0.25 when you add a panel into it. And so what other things we've added? We've added the universal rims and extensions. What on earth are universal rims and extensions? It basically means that when you go to have one of these, they have these little notches on the side. And these little notches means that, yes, this is a three by three bin system, but this three by three lid bin system can actually work on a three by three grid that adds up to this. I'm showing you clips of B-rolls right now to sort of explain all of this. So that is some incredible updates there. And to go with that, we've added a peg locking system, which means that all of these extensions can now actually be locked into place. So now it's no longer so much about the tolerances and the snapping, you can actually use this little peg to snap it into place. Now I did play around using just a bit of filament to go in, but I didn't like that idea because how on earth do you remove a bit of filament easily, especially if you melt it in place or something like that. And that just wasn't functional enough, wasn't flexible enough for multi-board. So we have this little peg that you can put in and put out. Just make sure that you're using some very sturdy tweezers to get those in and out. And that there lets you do a whole bunch of basically creating a bin at a 0.25 height, then adding a big extension to it, making it pretty much permanent using these pegs. And then if you wanted to change that up at any point, you can actually remove those pegs and change it up however you're wanting. And the cool thing is that you can use the universal extensions and then you can use that peg directly onto a plate, letting you add plate bins and creating plate bins. And with the plate bins, we've also added just a whole bunch of other bottoms so that you can go into the plate bin bottoms. So you no longer have to worry about all these little holes at the bottom of a plate. Honestly, it's just crazy. You can also now add extensions directly to panels themselves. I truly advise you to basically just print out a bit of everything and just play around with it because truly it is just so, so flexible now. Okay, let me also carry on mentioning some other things that we've added in this big multi-grid update. Extensions now have tolerances. We heard you loud and clear. Some of you were having absolute nightmares with extensions, too tight, too loose, just not working for you. So now every single extension has a tolerance all the way from loose to permanent. And just, it really lets you play around along with that peg system, just makes it even more flexible for you all out there. And we also have added connections to the sides of plates. So plates can now connect to other plates. They can also connect to panels. 
you can now have also, this is the next thing, is everything is interlocking, so you can build bigger plates from smaller plates. It's also just, in general, future-proofing. There's a lot more things that are going to be added than just these little connections, so just keep an eye out for all of that. But as for the new parts themselves, let's start it still with the plates here is when you're doing connections of a panel to a plate, we have these little panel feet so that they stay at the same level as a plate. And that just means that you can interconnect plates to a panel back to a plate or just have a, a plate to a panel and they stay at the same height. We've also added plate lid feet. So if you ever have tried to add a plate as a lid to a box, to a bin, you might find that the plate doesn't really sort of stay on that securely. Well, to fix that, we have these little plate lid feet. You add them into the bottom push fit holes of plates and they now fit snugly inside of a bin when you put it on top of a bin and you can still use it as a feet where you place it down just on the ground. And truly, I think that's really, really usable. The other thing that we've added is a whole bunch of extension heights. We used to only have extensions up to one. Now we have them, well, up to three, but only one big. Now we have all of the sizes and all of the heights. So truly it is crazy what's going on there. So that's all been added. Plus we've also added the same for bin lids. Now there's a whole bunch of other bin lids coming in the future, but they're still sort of like in development-ish. So. Right this minute, we've kept it pretty simple. We just have drop-in bins, one with a tab, one without a tab, and they're truly, I just love them. It means that you can stack them on top of each other, and there's so many hidden little features in it. Let's see if you can see it. Inside of the bin lid rim itself, there's actually a little snap-in rim there for other accessories in the future. Now, I am having a couple of ideas to add other things in there, so just keep an eye out for that. Okay, now let's tease some future things because of course I want to let you out on a nice high note. So thanks for watching this long of a video and this is how I'm going to reward you. First, there's a whole bunch of accessories coming. Like truly, it is crazy how many accessories are going to be coming real soon. But next up is I'm going to tell you the names of some big, and I mean big, updates. And once these are out, we're pretty much there with the core development of multiboard. First one being is multi-point, and the next one being multi-shelf. That's all I'm going to tell you is the names, and I'll give you a little bit of an example. This right here is going to show you how quickly and easily you're going to be able to add a bin to a board, because I know that's the first question you're going to ask me here with this entire multi-grid update is, hey, how can I add the freaking bins to the boards. Well, it's coming and it's going to be the most flexible system you've ever seen. And on top of that, it brings even more cross compatibility with Gridfinity and the honeycomb storage wall. So that is just going to be absolutely insane. And it's going to come out as soon as I can, hopefully just get, so let's say the next month or two. Let's give myself a nice wide area there. But I did want to put it out with this update, but considering that that was 800 parts and the next one of those updates is going to probably be about the same size, maybe bigger. So I didn't want to make it a multi thousand part update because then that just would have been so incredibly overwhelming all at once. So that's coming up. And also, of course, I just want to say a massive thank you for supporting this. It's been amazing, and I cannot wait for this to grow even further. So go and check out the multi-grid update, and also be sure that you sign up to the newsletter so that you don't miss any of the new updates that are coming out there, because truly, they're looking absolutely great. Go and also join the multi-board Discord, because some crazy things are going on over there. And thank you so much for watching, truly. It's been amazing having you here and keep making.